Hey there, so it's the 4th of July coming up here in just a few days and um, well, we're making some cowboy hats. So we have a really nice, this is a good quality hat. Um, you know, we paid at least 50 bucks for it. Um, and what it is is sort of felt. You see that in the camera? Felt. Okay. So what we're going to do is put red, white, and blue stars on it using uh, polyester ultrafine glitter. I'm going to do it as a glitter glue. And I'm actually using uh, vinyl. Can you see? It's cut with stars. Here, see if I can pull one off. Okay, so I'm making mini stencils, which I will then uh, apply to the brim. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera down so you can watch me work. But uh, essentially, um, because I don't want any glitter flaking, I am going to turn it into a glitter glue. So I'm going to mix um, Mod Podge gloss with the each color and then I'll be applying it with a brush. Okay, so pretty simple, low tech, uh, except for the vinyl. These you can get cut at sign and banner shops very cheaply, or go ahead and cut your own. You know, you just get an exacto knife and start cutting. Um, but generally I find that um, sign shops and vinyl shops, they'll do them very inexpensively for you. Um, we have our own cutter, so obviously it's really easy for us, but um, you know, when you're working with glitter a lot, it might be time to invest and a vinyl cutter. They just aren't that expensive and they're incredibly handy. Okay, so here we go. I'm about ready to start working with the stencils. Um, working with vinyl and removing uh, the shape, you basically are creating a stencil form. Um, I like to use an X-Acto knife to help uh, pull the um, excess off. When you That terminology of excess, when you pull it off, it's called weeding. You're weeding your background. So this right there, that's weeding. And when you go to a sign shop, they usually automatically think that you want the vinyl. So um, you can either tell them, please don't weed it. I'll weed it myself. Or you can explain to them that you're planning to use it as a stencil, so you want the design removed, not the background. So sometimes that confuses them. So I tend to, uh, before I had my own cutter, um, I used to tell them, please don't weed it, I'll do it myself. Now, if you uh, work with the same shop over and over, and they know you're a glitter person, and that you want to do stencils, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll figure out what you, what you want to do, and they'll probably get it right. But, um, just, that's a little tip for you. Don't assume that people uh, are going to be doing it right for you. I'm going to carefully peel it back. it to the hat okay you see that it's on there next Take my glue, take my blue, I add like quite a bit of glitter when I do something like this. And then give it one last push down to make sure it hasn't popped. You know, vinyl's not exactly made for felt. Brush. Okay. Pull off the stencil. Anything you feel like didn't, you know, work perfectly with the stencil, you can go in and touch it up. 
But there it is before it dries. Okay, when it dries, all that milkiness will go away. And then you move on to the next one and you just repeat until you've got all the stars you want.